I'm Conrad Holt from Wichita. I'm a senior in physics and a grandmaster. Uh, I'm Conrad Holt. I'm a senior in physics. And I'm going to show my game where I was black against uh, Lazaro Batista Brisson in the uh, World Open this summer. What's the French defense? That's, that's, that's the first two moves. Um. <laughs> right, so this is a variation with G5 that I've played several times. It's probably not totally sound, but I mean, at least um, you know you can't just like look in a database and turn on your engine or something to figure out how to refute it. So that means it's okay to play. Are there any other moves except the take C? Uh, well, I mean, there are some other moves, but they're bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this move is like way better. Uh. What? No, wait, man. Is there a move like B four, something like that? Oh, like here. Yeah, someone played B4. Uh, G5. Not really. Some B4 moves. I don't know. If you take, I take, and now you cannot take on B4. I don't know why. B3 takes D? No, he takes D. Okay, I take CD, but you cannot take some. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why. I forgot. I just saw a game. Like, Sotovsky. Not Sotovsky. What's the name of this guy? But let's say Sotovsky. Not B4, I B3. think Blitz is okay. <laughs> B3 is I mean, This can be good for what? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he played in Blitz, but he won. I don't know. Sorry, so, yeah, so D takes C5, definitely the most common one. See it now. This one. So I guess there are some different options here, like um, like bishop b5, like knight b3, or bishop b2. Um, but he played bishop c2. So now black's got an extra pawn, but um, a pretty shaky position. He played f4. This is a good move um, because I have to take it unless I just want to lose the pawn on g4. And so now um, he uh, opens the f file for his rook and he opens up this bishop. And so obviously black has to be very careful. <laughs> So after queen e2 here, um, I think this is the first move where I started to think a lot. Um, and so eventually I played f5. Um, I think this is the best move. Like, you can um, try to you know place the knight on e4 or something. <laughs> but, and, um, it makes it harder for him to attack f7, which could have happened otherwise. You know, like playing knight e5 or something. Um, so at this point, I think uh, I was expecting him to play like g4 or c4. Like, um, I think both of these moves are pretty scary. Um, so like, for example, g4, then I, have to, then I would have to castle. And then like something like this, 
Um, and so White has a good compensation here. Uh, but no, he didn't do that. Um, okay, what, but what should White play after Rook F6 if uh, he has compensation? I mean, if the compensation is so scared. I mean, I don't know, like Rook D1 or something. Furthermore, if the compensation is so scary, do you have any other alternatives? <coughs> Something else other than F5? Uh, here, um, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, I, I, I uh, looked at this and the computer also uh, agreed with F5. So, it turns out that Queen E2 is actually very strong. Yeah, it's even. Okay. So then the other move I was scared of was like c4, just breaking down the center. Um, but he didn't play that either. So yeah, I'm not really sure what should happen over c4. I maybe like this or something. But play bishop uh, h6. And um, and I have no idea why, but now he decided to play king h1. Is Wait. g4 still a possibility instead of king h1? g4. Um, well, I can go knight e4 now. Knight. <coughs> Knight b6. Wait a second. I'm sorry, what? No. Okay. I mean, given the g4 is strong, when not when white's allowing castle, it should be even stronger where, when not allowing castle, yeah? Well, now he's kind of allowing castle and queen side more than he was before. Oh, yeah, but the queen is still on d8, so maybe there is time to do something. Okay, so what, so what, should, you, what should you do here? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I guess take on f5, why not? Mm -hmm. Bishop b3? Queen a5 maybe? Or b6? Oh, just sacrifice the pawn on d5. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it looks, looks okay. Uh, the question who's made it, yeah? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just trying, you know. I'm suggesting some variations. Otherwise, it's just a game. So... I had my score sheet. <clears throat> I mean, I think this is where he played King H1, even though it seems very strange. <laughs> uh, yeah, King H1 kind of looks weird. Just a waste of time. Alright, so anyway, uh, I played Queen C7. Yeah. Um, so he plays C4. Take. I took. And like one tricky alternative that the computer was suggesting was knight g5. Um, but it seems to be okay uh, if I do this. <laughs> but what he did with like c4, queen c4. Like, I mean, it just wasn't very challenging, I don't think. Like, he's not really attacking now. I mean, he still he still has sufficient compensation for a pawn, like, to make a draw. But, I mean, um, but it's not that hard for me to play. My king is pretty safe now. 
So after C1, V8, we went B4. Is this the gay? Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, so he's uh, sacrificing another pawn. But again, it's still roughly equal. So here, um, Okay, I think I did the wrong move. <laughs> uh, I think maybe this happened first. Yeah, this is what happened. <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> uh, so it actually went like this. Okay, now I played knight b4. And so, okay, here it kind of makes more sense because then I could go like this. So, is um, that scary? I mean, it's just a variation. No, I'm saying it's not scary. No, 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 no. It's bishop c5. That's scary. Well, for who? <laughs> it would be scary. <laughs> okay, so taking bishop b4. Queen b5 or something? Yeah. Um, I think he played bishop e3. So I went for queen a5. And now, like, uh, he could have played like knight e6. And then. It's like a pretty equal position, somehow, <laughs> but... Looks everything else but equal. Yeah. Oops. But I mean, like, sort of starting at this point, like, um, I think he was kind of, uh, you know, um, getting in a bad state of mind and, like, getting too focused on, like, keeping as many pieces as possible and trying to win at all costs. Um, and... So he played like a3, which is a pretty bad move. Well, maybe it's not that bad yet. <coughs> but anyway, uh, actually it's the next move where he started to uh, really go like that. Yeah, I think the computer suggests to take on a3, but you know, I was just uh, playing it safe with queen a6. And so yeah, when I played this, uh, I was thinking, uh, you know, he's focused on winning, and so he probably won't want to uh, take this. But then after I played, I started like getting really afraid that he would. <laughs> like, I mean, it's, I mean, it's just you know, like um, for something like this. I mean, it's just equal, but I only had like ten minutes left, so I was like really afraid that I would just lose this kind of position because. Uh, um, like, I usually play badly when there are less pieces, um, <laughs> and it looks, it looks like it easily, like, I mean, um, there is compensation. Yeah, yeah. Bishop's <coughs> weak, king, weak, pawn structure, yeah, you're two pawns up, but the pawn structure is... Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah the computer game rex is equal, but I, uh, I started, I started to think I would lose this position, but I was so lucky, and he didn't want to trade queens. Um. As it turns out, sometimes it is dangerous to exchange queens when under attack. 
<laughs> He's playing like what thing? Yeah, okay, so this is like Okay, this is the one that's like definitely a bad decision. Like now I'm just kind of up two pawns and he doesn't really have any compensation. Um It looks like he really wanted to checkmate you. Yeah. Sacrifice two pawns with no clear compensation, then then play bishop c4, you know, when he should have exchanged with queens and still have some attack left. Now there's nothing. nothing. <coughs> I think, nice I think he was aiming for the rook ending. All right, so now he's not, um, his attack isn't really going anywhere. So I just play the Greek G8. Um, all right, so now I'm, you know, like trying to, trying to take on G2 or something, maybe. <laughs> and so then, uh, he decided to be very tricky and uh, take this knight. But um, luckily, I can play knight d5. <laughs> so then he plays knight e5. And I played rook c8, which actually could have been a mistake, because now he has another chance to. Um, he could have tried to go into endgame like this. And then, um, and then here's just a pawn down and doesn't have like, you know, an attack or anything, but he has like, you know, reasonable uh, drawing chances. Like he's still way ahead on time even. But, um. Was Bishop a for a mistake? Uh, no, it's the, it's the computer's number one choice. <laughs> but, um, you know, I was just like had five minutes left or something. And so I was like trying not to open any files. And so he could have gone like this in the end game, but um, he sort of seemed to continue having his trouble, uh, you know, to make the most rational decisions, and and then he was still hoping for a checkmate apparently. So he played a five, and now, and now I wasn't afraid to t play bishop a four anymore, because uh, now it doesn't open any files. <laughs> Um, <coughs> so now, uh, well, now he's bishop just dead boss. What? Can you play bishop h4 in here? <laughs> um, to remove the rook from e1 and then play bishop f6. Yeah. Looks pretty good, but on the other hand, anything wins because I'm just ahead two pawns for nothing now. <laughs> so, uh, and then I repeat position once so I can try to get to move 40. All right, now, uh, now, for some reason, he decided to go along the queen trade this time. Oh, it's not like he had any other options. I mean, he could play the queen f2, I guess. <laughs> Whoa. Way too optimistic. Oh. Well, that's what he's done so far, right? Being way too optimistic? <laughs> I mean, he tried to make you his optimistic. <laughs> All right, and so now... Um, I managed to uh, trap his rook, and at this point he resigned.